The Chargers need cornerback depth, and today they are bringing in Christian Fulton for a visit, and then tomorrow he's going to be meeting with the team and Jim Harbaugh, Jesse Minter, so if all goes well, I think that they will sign him just because he does check a lot of boxes, he does have negatives, we'll get into that, but also because Michael Davis has officially signed with the Commanders, so now look at our cornerback room, man. It is just as barren as this wide receiver room, and today... We're going to be talking about Christian Fulton, the good and the bad, this cornerback market, and also what this signing, if they do sign him, could mean for the draft. So make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content, bro. It helps me out so much. And now let me tell you all about Christian Fulton. So Joe Hortiz always talks about when he's talking about prospects, don't tell me what they can't do. Tell me what they can do. And I think Christian Fulton, they're looking at what he can do, all right? He's still a young corner. He's going to be 26 once the season starts in, in uh, September, but he's got that size that you want on the outside. He's 5'11", almost 200 pounds. He's got really, really fluid hips. He's so smooth in his transitions. He doesn't lose speed when he is moving and turning around, so he can keep up with wide receivers downfield. He also has the size to match up with those big wide receivers on the boundary. He's not afraid to tackle and come downfield as well. He is aggressive. He's very aggressive for better or for worse, and he can be really, really sticky in man coverage. This guy is very confident. He plays fast, and he takes a lot of risks. Now, this leads me perfectly into the negatives because first thing that I noticed when I was watching him is that he gets his eyes caught in the backfield a bunch. That happened a lot this past season. He is really aggressive, like I said, and that will leave him susceptible to some double moves. I mean, he got burned really bad on a double move against this, the Colts this past season. Also, he needs to be better with his eyes just in general and reading kind of what's happening. Like I said, he gets his eyes lost in the backfield at times and they get stuck in no man's land. And then also at one point, he was allowing a 95% completion rate in single coverage. I mean, that that is just really, really bad. But then he ended the season allowing 72.5% completion percentage and he had six penalties. So he is a bit grabby. Like I said, very very aggressive corner. He doesn't really have great ball skills, but he has shown some flashes of being that CB1 man. He's got the potential of it. He just needs to be more consistent with his instincts because he trusts his instincts so, so much and he is so aggressive with it that when he is right, it looks amazing and he looks like that cornerback one that you want out there. But then when he is wrong, Bro, it gets him in trouble and he gets burned often. Like if you look at him last year, he got burned quite a bit by some guys at wide receiver that you wouldn't expect them to burn anybody. If he can come in and Jim Harbaugh and Jesse Minter can teach him how to read things better as a cornerback and get him to lose that habit of getting his eyes caught in the backfield, I think he could, he could really have a career resurgence with the Chargers. Now there are some off-field concerns here, like yes, he has been injured. He has struggled with injuries uh, throughout his career, but also he doesn't really take accountability for his errors. Like I said, this guy is a very, very confident corner. And don't get me wrong. I love the confidence. I mean, as a defensive back, you need to have that confidence and be able to go out there every play, even after you get burned and just have a short term memory. Just go out there and play like you are the best cornerback on the freaking field. But the problem comes in when he's not accepting that he made a mistake either in the film room or in the locker room and maybe people confront him about it. I think that is why they are going out and having dinner with him today. So if all goes well at P.F. Chang's, then they're going to meet with him tomorrow with Jim Harbaugh, Steve Klinkscale, the DB coach, and Jesse Minter, the defensive coordinator. And they're going to find out if he's a Harbaugh dude mentally. And if he is, then we know what they want at corner. They want someone who is aggressive and who can play man coverage. And Michael Davis did have some of that aggressiveness in terms of like coming downfield. He wasn't really consistent with it. I mean, Christian Fulton, he is consistent with it almost to a fault that it gets him in trouble sometimes. So now we know what they want at cornerback, at least one kind of style that they want at corner. So if they sign him, they are getting younger and cheaper at a premier position, and they're just throwing a flyer at these guys. I mean, I would have liked to see Jadavius White, even Xavier Howard get an opportunity because they have a lot of that stuff that Christian Fulton does. 
but both of those guys are like 30 mm -hmm. years old and they have had injuries as well. I think it's very telling that they're going for the low money option here, the less proven option, because he is younger and they are wanting to attack this position, not in free agency, but in the draft because I said it earlier in the week, but this is a premier position and what they are doing in free agency is attacking the lower value positions. Look at the linebackers. We've seen some veterans getting added at the linebacker position, just Denzel Perriman recently, the center position, interior offensive line, Bradley Bozeman. I actually think he's probably going to start, but I still expect them to draft a center for the long-term future, of course. I mean, that needs to happen. We just lost two of our best wide receivers in, in like the past decade. And now we have no one at the wide receiver position. They're not going to address it in free agency, I think, because they want to get younger at that position. I think they want to add speed at that position as well. And they don't want to spend a ton of money in free agency for a guy that's just going to be older. And if they signed Christian Fulton, yes, that is a premier position that they are addressing in free agency but it's going to be for so little money and it's not going to move the needle because right now they just need depth. When you look at the wide receiver market in free agency, I just don't think there's anybody that has that nice mix of uh, not being too old and then also giving you good depth at low money. Christian Fulton, I think he kind of fits in that perfect little sweet spot that Joe Hortiz wants. It's not going to affect the comp pick formula too much. He is at a premier position. He has shown flashes of some really good play. And if you get him right off the field, hello, Ben Herbert with the strength and conditioning staff, you know, then this could be a signing that really pays dividends. And then the rest of the cornerbacks, I mean, you look at a guy like Arthur Mollette. He actually just got signed by the Ravens on a two-year deal. He would have been a really good nickel cornerback addition. But Rocky Sin, I thought he would have been a really nice stopgap cornerback. He has size on the outside. He was with the Ravens last year, but he's 27. I think he's going to be 28 by the time the season rolls around. So I think maybe they're not going for him because of the age. And so now we're starting to see kind of what I was talking about earlier in this week manifesting a little bit. They're not going to be spending big at these premier positions in free agency. They're going to wait to address those, even though they really, really need to be addressed right now. It looks like a huge hole, like worst unit in the NFL. They're going to address those in the draft. I mean, they know that they need help at those spots. They're waiting and they're going to draft guys very highly at wide receiver, at cornerback, probably at offensive line. It depends on how they view like Trey Pipkins, honestly, because we don't know how they view him. But if they do sign Christian Fulton, it's a depth piece. It doesn't stop them from drafting a cornerback highly. And they could add depth in free agency at wide receiver. But I just, I, I don't know if they want any of these guys. And just the fact that they are interested in Christian Fulton tells me that they probably like Terry and Arnold from Alabama a lot. If you don't know him, you should go watch his highlights on YouTube if you can. That dude very aggressive he has some shades of what christian fulton is obviously hope that he turns out better than christian fulton but you know that is a scheme fit and in a trade down scenario i think terry and arnold would be the guy over you know quinion Mitchell. i i just i think because of this the chargers probably have terry and arnold as their cb1 if what they like in Christian Fulton is consistent with what they like in cornerbacks in the draft. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did not see my video yesterday, I talked all about Bradley Bozeman and I did a bit of a film breakdown so you can see how good he was last year. He was okay. <laughs>